What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. I'm finally back. I feel weird because I'm making a video after almost two months. Uh, so welcome back and also welcome back to me. Uh, we are starting with an immigration video because this is a new multiple H-1B visa legis legis legislature passed. Uh, and how does that impact you? A lot of you have been thinking me about it. So I got Rajiv ji of course uh, to talk about this and uh, we explained into detail like how this impacts and what can you do, what can you not do. I don't think you need to worry about it if you are like not gaming the system. This is for the people who are actually trying to game the system. You'll be fine. And I just want to say thank you so much for all the messages and DMs on Instagram and LinkedIn and all of you have been connecting with me because you're concerned where am I, what am I doing, why am I not uploading videos. I'll tell all about it uh, in just a few weeks. So wait for that. This is something behind the scene happening uh, nothing related to youtube just with, with my personal life so I'll, I'll share keep guessing what's going on maybe comment let me know what do you think <laughs> anyway i hope you enjoyed this information and uh, we are back uh, we're gonna start vlogs and all the information videos and fun stuff uh, comment and let me know what would you like to watch uh, but for now enjoy this video the next major thing was really the h1p lottery and government had been sued Plaintiffs in that lawsuit were saying that some people are gaming the system. They are defrauding by creating multiple entries mm. and increasing their chances. And I can I can relate to that. I think that's a very bad practice and it's uh, something to be deplored. Nevertheless, it is legal. And uh, whatever you can do, you've got to deal with it legally. So now what the situation is, one good thing that happened was that because of that lawsuit, I'm pretty sure because of that lawsuit, <clears throat> government added, when you register as a company, you have to, under penalty of perjury, say, I am doing this in good faith. I'm not creating any multiple jobs in collusion with other companies or individuals. Uh, and if I am, I'm saying this under penalty of perjury. So what does that do? What that does is if a company tries to do any shenanigans, they can not just lose their all their registrations for that individual, they can actually go to prison because now it's a felony. Mm, mm. The law is the same. The procedure is the same. It's just that the government has added teeth to its requirements. Mm. We didn't have teeth before. Now they can bite you and that's going to hurt. Okay. Mm. So that's where the lottery situation is. Can you still file multiple? Yes, you can file multiple registrations as long as the companies are not related. And by relationship, we don't mean just um, corporate relationship, ownership relationship. CEOs have relationship like husband and wife teams are operating different companies. Those companies might still be considered to be related. So there are so many ways um, that they can get you on the relationship ground. You have similar projects, same project, same end client. You're working, you know, so there's some kind of a tie up somewhere. Consider it in the widest possible ways. No relationship, number one. Number two, the jobs are in good faith. You actually want to go work for them and they actually want you to come and work for them. You're not just making stuff up, okay? Mm -hmm. So those were the two main things I'm trying to remember if there's any other point I'm missing. It's got to be done in good faith, no collusion, unrelated companies, yeah. So multiple entries can still be made. But how would that even look like? Like how would someone make a multiple entry, uh, like they had to be working yeah. in two different companies. No, 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 it can happen. I'll give you an example. Somebody's skills are in big demand. For example, let's say you are, you are an expert in blockchain technologies or you got a <clears throat> degree with, with a thesis in um, machine learning, artificial intelligence. <clears throat> Your skills are in demand. You could have a bunch of companies who want you to come work for them and they would mm -hmm. be willing to file for your lottery and they don't ask you have you applied in other places as well nobody asked that question so you could have unrelated companies vying for your services but this is before joining right like if if let's say my company i'm working yeah. for my company right i have my so they will be filing my h1p but how would i be if i'm not like working then yeah there is a possibility that i apply to two different companies they both exactly. are willing to file exactly the main people who are affected by this is like staffing companies and the consultants is who 
in a way bad practices you know, like it's it's funny i think maybe you kind of you meet the kind of people you yourself are i can't think of any one of our clients doing this no because like i mean for example i'm just thinking of an example like you are working for this company you have a client so now your company you where you're getting paycheck is also applying but then your client is also applying for that may that may not be that may be a problem because you are working on the same project right so that's what i'm saying those are the people will be affected if they that were doing that yeah that could be a problem but on the other hand what if i were to argue that i am the end client but it's my genuine need to to hire him okay i don't want to hire him through the contractor i think you could get away with that that's a perfectly legitimate reason to file multiple mm-hmm. entries <laughs> so like, i don't know people still ask me rajiv what is the sign of it i use the, I use the same thing to take showers <laughs> so, so the the cases that i have seen um, these are people getting hired right out of school one professor mm-hmm. knows you you're already working somewhere or you know somebody else in school has a job offer so i have heard people i've i've seen uh, those cases and i've said yeah it's okay to file those those kind of when you have completely unrelated job offers why not why shouldn't you the law allows you but if you try to make things up and you you are doing sleazy stuff then i'm okay with you going to prison mm mm-hmm. got it okay <clears throat> is there anything else or the another big thing is by march 12th some people are predicting although i doubt it that the investment based green cards investment oh, amount right. will, will go up yeah. <clears throat> i think uh, from 500000 to 700000 from 1 million to 1.2 or 1.3 million i don't remember the exact amounts the only question is if it goes up first will it go up second if it goes up how far it will go up and the third one which is the most important uh, how quickly will the new uh, rates come into play Mm-hmm. and my i suspect it will be at least 30 to 90 days after the law some people are saying no no <clears throat> it will be right after the law is passed which i doubt mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Um, everybody has an opinion so we'll see yeah. all okay. right cool so then i'll not all right this brother <clears throat> good right. to good to see you yes. <clears throat> and also just make sure you have a good time at, at your job don't work too hard <laughs> yes. I don't want people calling me and saying you guys have gotten you into trouble. He's working too hard. He's become a whole cow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Bye. Awesome. Thank you Rajiv. So Bye. talk soon. Bye. That is it if you're new to the channel uh, we talk about immigration study abroad uh, career in United States personal finance as well. Consider subscribing also do some travel walks uh, do a lot of stuff. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then keep smiling and keep hustling. You got to hustle every single day. Oh, 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 oh,